rise of the corporate court in the judicial branch. In Bush v. Gore, remember five justices on the Supreme Court intervened in the 2000 presidential election to halt the counting of more than 100,000 ballots in Florida, thus delivering the presidency to the preferred candidate of America's largest corporations like Enron, Halliburton, ExxonMobil, Blackwater, AIG, and Goldman Sachs. These corporations proceeded to shape House public policy by promoting financial deregulation, privatization and spread of corporate welfare, the contracting out of warfare, and the creation of what economist James Galbraith has called a predator state. So if the president, they said, uh, the court, can select the nominees to this court, a majority of them must have thought that they could select their own president to help them order their extreme right-wing judicial activism. Okay, let's look at the Exxon shipping case where the Supreme Court reversed a punitive damage claim dating back to the 1989 spill. The jury awarded the plaintiff fisherman and nearby residents $287 million in actual damages and another $5 million in punitive damages and punishment for Exxon's corporate recklessness of having a ship captain in charge of that ship who had a known alcohol problem who had five double vodkas in a bar before he left Valdez that night, and then he left the bridge in charge of a junior officer who was not familiar with the navigation in Prince William Sound. We know what happened after that. He ran into a reef, and the 11 million gallons went out. So the, so the jury awarded, <laughs> as I said, the plane fish with 287 million in actual damages, another 5 million in punitive damages. But after two remands sent back and close study of the issue of punitive damages, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals out in California, which includes Alaska, reduced the punitive damages award to 2.5 billion, that's half, and described the described Exxon's conduct as egregious. Well, the Supreme Court is not going to have any of this. The pared down judgment is stuck in the crawl of five of the justices, Robert, Kennedy, Souter, and Scalia. In 2008, this block reduced the punitive damage award from 2.5 billion to 507.5 billion. Indeed, the only thing that stopped them from deleting the award altogether was that, that they were one vote short of being able to find that a corporation is not responsible for the reckless acts of its own managers acting in the scope of their.